Yo, what's up guys? This is Huda and welcome to the fourth episode of What's Up World. Also, the fourth part of the scandal that broke hell loose in South Korea, but at the same time, the last part. Today, we're going to talk about series that came out out of the blue. I've seen that in a lot of YouTube channels that I'm gonna put down below. Um, I wish they were talking about the Jang Jae-yeon's case. Uh, so, if you don't know who Jang Jae-yeon is, Jang Jae-yeon was, because she's dead, uh, was a actress and she was in a K-drama that was renowned Voice of a Flower and so she was abused and raped by many high society members uh, such as producers, directors, CEOs and all that kind of stuff and so after all this aggression and harassment and everything that happened in her life she decided to take her life and she wrote a letter of 10 pages so only 4 pages were found out at the end and in the 6 remaining pages she wrote the names of all those people that used her and made her life a living hell so now that I explain what it is about you're going to, to ask me what does it have to do with the burning sun scandal so I'm gonna talk first about what is happening after in Jung Jae Young's case um, and then I'm gonna explain what does it have to do with the burning sun scandal so what is the new evidence that came out it's a actress called Yu Ji Woo 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 I think it's Yu Ji Woo if I say it wrong, I'm sorry. So, Yujiro, where was she and who is she? She's a fellow actress that was in the same company as Jang Jae-yeon. And she left South Korea for Canada to help her ill mother for this whole time. And she came to South Korea because she felt that she needed justice for Jang Jae-yeon's case. And that's why she came. She also raised and found online for her security, of course. And she had the security, like the police security, because she is an important key in Jang Jae Young's case. Why am I talking about her right now? It's because she was sued by writer Kim Soo Min uh, because of something that came up. So Kim Soo Min is a writer that wrote pretty much about Jang Jae Young um, uh, in her book, in one of her books. Uh, talking about you know what happens to women in, in the Korean society. So I've seen that in DKDK TV. So I didn't know very much about this till I watched that video, and they were just explaining that she sued her because, to be honest, Yu Jio just explained to her that she didn't really know much about uh, Jung Jae Young, and she only like met her for three or four times in her own life. And when she was on trial on court, she was like, "I know her and." I was really close and when I knew about her death, I was like close to her and everything and it just came out that that was false so there's the trial still going on, we don't know what happened so as I'm filming this video, I don't have much information about it and Kim Soo Min stated that she was using Jung Jae Young for more fame she wrote a book about her but her family members don't know anything and didn't gain anything from that book and she used it her for money, for fame, to grow her image and to get back to her acting career. That she didn't see anything related to Jang Jae Yan and the list that she said that she'd seen before, it was just a list that was found in the police office when she was there to see Jung Jae Young's corpse. But the list that was at the police office wasn't a real list, it was a false list. So that means that pretty much she didn't see this, the real list and so Jung Jae Young's case <laughs> is not going to move forward. So that's related to Jung Jae Young for the news if you want to know more about Jung Jae Young. If you want me to explain what is the real deal with Jung Jae Young and everything, just let me know. I might do a video about it and explain what happened to Jung Jae Young and the impact in the Korean society. So what Jung Jae Young's case has to do with the burning sun scandal. I've seen that in a video called What's Up Korea by a French YouTuber called Togen. I'm gonna put the link down below where he explained that the reason why Jung Jae Young's case was reopened was because of burning sun and that's true. And the thing is that Jung Jae Young's list might be intertwined with the burning sun scandal. As in, we only know now about the burning sun scandal and the chat room because of something that came out. But as I explained 
in the second video of this scandal, I said that JJY had many other chat rooms. We don't have the identities of the other people in the other chat rooms, so we don't know about them. But what is sure is that if the police itself was briefed and was involved into this scandal, that means that other people are involved too. And if ever this list comes out, many, and I really say many high profile people, personalities are going to come down. And I'm talking about in the business world and the police army but also the politicians but not only the entertainment industry as well because she was a actress so this list and the burning sun scandal are pretty much intertwined because maybe and i say maybe this is a theory this is not 100 percent true again maybe the people that were in john Daniel's list are also in the chat room but also in oh my gosh i don't know if you can hear them down there but they're eating and also in the burning sun scandal so in a way there's something related between all of them there's no evidence that both of them can be related and that you know because we don't have the list at all but there are some rumors saying that one of the police officers like high police officers um just stole those uh six pages uh because she, apparently she's a woman i'm just saying apparently um, her husband might be one of the members of this list and being a prosecutor, he, if he ever was found out, he would scramble down and many other people in the law industry, in the police industry, army, in the politician world, in the entertainment world, everywhere and that kind of scary because although I'm not living in South Korea, I don't live in South Korea but I love South Korea, I would love to go to South Korea and see how it is but seeing how things evolve there and just how bad are with related with this kind of scandal i'm actually wondering what is really happening in south korea because if this list comes out the whole system in south korea is going to crumble and not only i'm talking about politician system but everything because many people that weren't supposed to be discovered are going to be discovered as perverts as rapers as that kind of people that disgust you and the people that pushed John Tae to suicide you should know that in South Korea and the entertainment industry especially many idols, female and male idols are forced into pleasing uh, sexually other high up people they can be investors, producers, directors, managers I don't know, any person that your manager pretty much asks you to please and Jung jae is one of the people that got known I'm thinking about some idols right now in my head but since there's no evidences that they were in this case I cannot talk about them because that would be defamation and you know the law in South Korea about defamation is really strict but just I just want to say that although I'm talking about the Britney Stone today and the Dizzy White scandal also as Huang Hana scandal and Jung Tae Yeon's scandal right now I just want you to know that this kind of behavior this kind of issue is around South Korea but not only everywhere in the world so whenever you see someone in the entertainment industry there's a high chance that they had to pass through all of this to get where they are I'm not saying that they all had to pass through this but a huge part and I'm not only saying that only women had to do that male had to do that as well we don't really talk about male being raped and all that and in our society it's like men cannot be raped and everything but they are unfortunately they are and we don't really talk about it because i don't know i think feminism don't let us talk about it a lot and that's a whole other issue that would love to talk about it in another video <laughs> not today so i don't have much to say about it other than just be careful and be aware of what's happening around you what's happening in the entertainment industry what's happening in the high uh, society because we as we are normal people we ain't aware of what they do so just I just wanted to share this with you although I repeat again this is a theory some of the facts that I stated are true such as Juju, Juju's case and Jodaya's death but um, the relationship with the burning sun scandal is not something that is with 
an evidence, it's just a rumor, it's just a theory that I've heard and that I kind of looked for it and I found out. So I'm gonna link down below the places where I went to look for those information. As I said, there's pretty much DK, DK TV and um, go again. So without training anymore, <laughs> See you guys in my next video, well before. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like this video if you liked it. Tell me what you think about this theory down there and yeah, what you think about it. So without doing any more, <laughs> I'm gonna see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys on maybe Thursday. Yeah, bye bye.